you too can be a Mexican cowboy. Well, kind of. Here we're going to be doing a tour of the Valley Village in, uh, in Burlington on Appleby Line. Here we are just going in. And to the left we have the, the precious counter, which has the jewelry, the precious items behind it. This one has some really interesting vintage cameras. This included this uh, telephoto lens mounted onto this camera. I'm not sure if it's an SLR type, so if it isn't, it was a pricey camera to start with. So they, they had some, like this is the camera, it is something else. Um, a hundred bucks even if for a showpiece because it, it looks so good it'd be worth it for that not that I like getting a lot of stuff from here but they sometimes have the right stuff there's another one welcome I'm Hawaiian shirt pop sometimes with others I visit a variety of antique vintage and thrift shops within southern Ontario Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Continuing on, this is the other part of the showcases, which has jewelry in here, a couple of levels of it. Uh, They're an interesting selection whenever they have these things. Out behind you see some, some, th some things are clothing, bags, electronics, uh, things that might be an antique. I think I saw some sort of Bluetooth sound bar back there as well. Nice set of uh, jewelry. Most of it's uh, costume. Some stores they actually get enough of the um, jewelry, costume jewelry, that they'll just bag it or jar it. And then they have the artwork along the, the wall there. Beside the artwork wall, there's the collections of the glass, ceramics, pots, so on and so forth. There were people in the store, it was fairly busy, so I didn't necessarily get to do every single aisle the way I'd like to. And these are a vintage, vintage glassware presentation pieces. Yeah, Westwood Avenue could probably tell you exactly what that was. I think it may have been a spoon rest or something. And the clothing is across from there. So we did actually get back to there and take a look at the um, items again. I think these are exactly opposite that jewelry case here. The bagged items, they're very commonly found. You can get some real treasures in them when they didn't realize what they'd put in there. Now, all kinds of vases here. And there are mirrors. The bags continue for quite a ways. A 
there's this interesting what appears to be red glass but if I remember right it was painted on the underside so it looks good on this side but it would be very susceptible to scratches and then therefore becoming kind of useless then we're into the cookware there's a bread box a couple of them there and other similar kind of kitchen items we're still near the uh, artwork wall in the end caps they have some things that they've chosen to feature this one's got some small art frame picture frames small cooking appliances other cookware some curious items these are bakeware some pyrex and pale blue A lot of the pans that you see fry pans they're often aluminum or non-magnetic in any case those were um, lampshades and we have fabrics sheets comforters in this section we have quite a few in this store it varies store to store as to uh, what they get brought and what they probably also based on what kind of sales they get in that kind, that kind of uh, portion of the store. And they put the children's toys. Some may be more of a collector item than just for children. Some of these are definitely vintage. And those who are into that type of collecting they'll know there's quite a bit of it some board games and such there I think some of those were puzzles we're back to looking at the clothing side again and now we're in the search for the Hawaiian shirts <clears throat> yes they do have some long sleeve versions sometimes not quite as common personally I I use just the short sleeves and if I need to I'll put on a sweater of some sort and, uh, with the layering here it lets you then cool off if you need to well didn't look like that side was very useful and these are not what we're looking for then we looked at some of the jackets the jacket suits suit jackets and then we found the aisle with something that looks a bit like a hawaiian shirt that was a t-shirt they sometimes show up in that but not they're more stretchy Here's some more t-shirts and these look more like what we're looking for is the Hawaiian shirt some contenders yeah I guess you could push that one towards it 
this is definitely one. And then, yeah, you could group that into the generic grouping of it, not as bold. Now this one's more bold, could still be grouped into it. As can this, this is a little closer to it, just a little more monotone. And here we go. Bold florals, those are definitely the uh, Hawaiian shirts. Uh, a little finer general grouping, but not necessarily in it. Here we go, another Hawaiian shirt. Boundary line. That probably would still fit with it. What else we found? Ooh, this wouldn't very good for that. Still not truly a Hawaiian shirt, but fits into the same genre and not actually being one. No, that wasn't. Now that's cool. Now that's definitely a Hawaiian shirt. When you lay out the islands on it, yeah, that's gotta be one. And it's one of the labels from there. Pineapples, yep. Yeah. It's a little more demure, as is this one being a little more demure. Now, this is a little more bold and out there. There you go, and I the wine. And that'll go for it too. And the search continues. There are different sizes in different sections. This is definitely a Hawaiian shirt. And sometimes their prices are kind of okay. That's an old navy. Whoa, good one. A little more. A nice example. What else have we found here? Oh, Puma, that was a, a hoodie. Yep. So those who were looking for things of different nature, they had some interesting items here. And this one, it's out there. That wasn't the one I was really looking at. Oh, it was a bench. Oh, the collar was the one that caught my eye. And the leather jackets in this case. I'll check them out now and then. Then we get into uh, hats, accessories, and belts. There's an interesting hat that you saw at the very beginning. You'll be seeing a bit more of in a few moments. It was just clipped on, hanging there. We're focused on something here, but not the main topic. Must have caught my attention and my hand forgot where I'm supposed to be looking. The hat's down here. Now there's the hat as we find it. For 550. Now, I actually tried it on. It's a, it was a bit small for my eye head. I'm not an enormous head. Smith built hats. It's one of the brand names. Size 756, made in Mexico, so at least it's an authentic Mexican hat. And uh, 
it did stay there. And then they had shoes. Some folks have some real interest in very specific kind of shoes. Even if they look wrecked, they have, to them, they have a value. Because I don't know if they refurbish them or whatever, and they have a tremendous amount of value, even refurbished. But it's not my area of expertise. So I just take a look through. Sometimes there's something that catches my eye that might be useful for myself although not as likely anymore and then at the front of the store again we're at the little bit of furniture they have and some of the larger toys and uh, other items that are a bit bigger they're right by the, the purses and backpacks and a bit more art over this area and some jewelry it's a mirror there it wasn't an oil and then we walked over to look at the other clothes very peripherally This is just an overview of what uh, there is in the store for clothing. Back to the front, and here you saw some suitcases. Some of the bags, some of the small. Oh, and then we're into the books. Come back to the other side of the store again. Books and books and books and books, and then they've got the sporting goods. Nice grouping, huh? Back into the some sort of clothing rack where the shoes are. Oh, they might have been bags. And the electronics were up front as well. Some more sporting goods over here. Some walking sticks from the looks of it. Yeah, so sometimes there's an interesting piece of furniture. The odd piece we've picked up over the years. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. We'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe would be appreciated and uh, if you want to know when the next one is put a tinkle on the bell